it's Krista and I am Crafty Kitty so I decided I'd say hello and share with you a few items that I picked up from a dollar store Dollarama a thrift store and something I got at the Dollar Tree in the US which I'm excited to share with you for sure I think I'll share with that with you the very for the first items in that title. Now, I seen everybody was hauling the lemon plates and the cherry plates. Well, none of the Dollar Trees close to my area got them. What they did get was the sunflower plates. So, I picked up this one. I have six of these. And six of the big dinner plate ones. So... You can go like this with them. So nice. I mean, pretty awesome for a dollar. And I really, really, really love the sunflower on there. But I would really, really love to have the lemon plate as well. And, uh, yeah. I would just love to have those so I could have a set of those myself. I don't know where the paper went. There it is. And, uh, because I really want those lemon plates because they are so pretty. So I'm just putting those down there. And it's basically, here's some stuff I got from the Dollarama. I found the cork lights. Oops, upside down. <laughs> you know, you put them in a bottle. I found two of those was really happy to get those. I don't know where they are. I found these oops, little fairy lights. And I got a couple of those. They were $1.25. I bought some tweezers. Nothing spectacular there. Uh, what I did find also were some... Oh no, I bought more than two of them. <laughs> I bought four of them. I like the fairy lights, and there is also one more of the cork bottles. So, I got a couple of craft things here. So, what I found was from Artist, the Artist series. Now, I'm not sure if this is the Dollarama brand or not, but it's a double, double tip markers, and these ones are in the shades of the blue the top and they kind of remind me of Copic markers but I don't think these ones are alcoholic inks and I also found the neutrals the gray light gray and black and these were only two dollars I did see people hauling um, Bic felt tip markers as well for the coloring um, I did find those but I decided not to buy them I like these ones better and these are the blue ones. Well, various shades of blue. There's like teal, turquoise, and sort of a seafoam blue. And then there were the pink ones. I don't know if there was like orange ones or not, but these were the only four colors they had. There could be other colors, that, and maybe my store just didn't have them. I also bought these to bring to work with me, these big colors so whatever color you see on them that's what color the ink is so I have that just one second I'm gonna take a sip of my lemonade and then I found some cute bling the like the ones that look kind of like grommets there and those were a dollar and then I found these stickers I like the Starburst. I think these would look really nice on uh, box letters. And then one of the cutest finds I ha I found was this. A unicorn washi tape dispenser. See? Isn't that cute? I think that was the find of the day. They had one other one. It was, I think it was a cloud. Um, but yeah, this is a little bit more, $4.00. But you get a whole whack of washi tape on there as well as you can see. And it's rainbow colors. So not too bad. 
So that's what I got from Dollarama. I'm just going to put this away before I lose it. <laughs> I did buy a lot more stuff when I was in the U.S. at the Dollar Tree, but um, <clears throat> it was mostly food stuff. I had bought some corn nuts, um, some of the energy um, nut blends and stuff. Those were really good. Those were not went down quite well. Um, what else I got in here? Oh, I got some really cool paper, and it is by forever in time and it's their dandelion uh, glitter series so I'm just going to show you I think these are going to make awesome pocket letters so this side's all glittery it's double sided and then on this side it is butterflies and there's this one and it's all glittery and the back is a is a faded washed out um, lines on it. This one is the metal. And it's glitter again. And on the back it's just dandelions and that's it. I got two of those. I like those ones. Then there's this a dandelion one. Pink background. On this side it's like a vintage washed worn kind of look. This is not part of the dandelions. Just making sure. Yeah. I got this one. It's called um, oh, Picnic. So on the back it's not the, the it's just polka dots. But on this side it's all berries. And I thought that's really cute. And there's little ladybugs on there as well. Somewhere you'll see it on there. And the last of the dandelion. Now there's another sheet for dandelion. It had like strips and stuff. But I didn't buy that one. This one I thought was really pretty. See? And on the back it's just it's yellow but it's white dandelions on it. So that was the part... Of my crafty haul. These are um, two for a dollar fifty. These papers, so basically seventy five cents each. They're really good. I love that line. Um, I went to the Value Village. Got these little roses. They're foam. This is for. I'm going to be doing something with these for. I'm doing a collab, and it's a video that's going to be put up. Darn it! And I don't remember who's hosting it. How bad is that? I really got to write these things down, but um, if you want to Google it, it is called the Midnight Summer's Tablescape, Midnight Summer's Dream Tablescape Collab, or Midnight Summer's Dream Collab. <laughs> Those are the words that you got to look for, Midnight Summer's Dream Collab, and, um, and, that's, and you'll find out who's hosting that. I don't know why for the life of me, I can't figure it out, remember who. And I got this bag of stuff. It's $3.99. We're gonna open it up and see what's inside. Kind of know what's in here, but not really. Didn't see it. Can't see everything because it's blocked. So I'm just gonna pull it all out. Most of it actually is funny that it is Dollarama stuff. <laughs> Most of it, not all of it. These, these are cute. These are gem corsage pins. And these ones are celebrated, and I know they come from Michael's. And I'm pretty sure these things are like $15 in Michael's. So, And these are from Dollarama. They're just place cards. Just one second, I got a puppy who needs to come up again. Here's my Maya. My. This is my Maya dog. Look, say hello. Say hello, Maya. Don't want to say hello? No? Okay. She just needs to be loved. There you go, baby. You got kisses. Go on, couche toi. And then these are the name holders. And there was three of these in the pack. These we sell for $1.50, so. Pretty much ahead on this bag so far. 
Okay, you can't go in the bag. <laughs> oh, here we go. And these are from the Dollarama, and they're chalkboard labels. And it actually comes with a piece of chalk. It's really cool. And the last thing that was in the bag is icing impression mats. Hmm. It says one each of a basket weed, clapboard, wood grain, brick, or cobblestone. So this is for fondant. And look how much they were originally. $13.95. It doesn't even look like they were ever used. So I'm guessing you take these and you press them into the fondant ice cream, ice cream, icing, and it gives you that design. So that's pretty cool. But I'm pretty sure I can find a different use for it because I don't like fondant and I don't use it when I do any cake stuff. So that, my friends, is everything. Um, I hope you like this video. If you do, please, I'll stop shaking the bag now. <laughs> if you do, give me a thumbs up and uh, watch out for my next video, which will be the Midnight Summer's Dream collab. And... If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell. And there's my daughter's thumb up in the air in the background. Like the video! <laughs> That's Logan. Um, so yes, if you, if you like it, thumbs up. And let's all get crafty. Bye-bye!